Hello, I'm Abyax Toy Cat, and this stream has a very fun and special offer if you're someone who likes to tip or someone who wants to support a stream because we have one of the best like multiplication offers. It'll be linked down below, thanks you to Helifresh, but we'll mention that after uh, everything else because for now, you, hello, I'm Abyax Toy Cat, and welcome back to my Mace Core Hardcore live stream. Here I am at a pillager outpost. I'm about to get an ominous bottle, which I'm hopefully then going to be able to use to grind some ominous vault keys so that I can, if I am lucky enough, get myself the mace. This is my goal, to kill a mace. <laughs> Sorry, to kill a will wither using a mace. I mean, I might kill the mace at some point later, but I want the wither to be dead first. I want to kill the wither on hardcore difficulty, and to do so, I need the most powerful weapon. And to do that, I'm going to need some things that I can only find from this fella over here. So if I'm really smart with this, and I'm hoping that I actually can be, I might just uh, kill them with mace with the wither. Honestly, that would be pretty cool too, right? Imagine getting that last. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna kill this guy exclusively from a distance. And oh, here's something interesting. Unlike before, because previously it was just killing the guy that would get you the ominous effect, I actually need to go in there. I need to grab this. And I need to make sure that I actually get it, which I currently can't say I did. So, ooh, I've got a bad inventory for this, but I'll get rid of it. Ominous bottle, bad omen has been gathered. If there's a second bad omen, I definitely should get it too. Uh, it tends to be that you usually find one, but you never know until you know. So let's walk in here and let's find out by uh, walking around trees maybe. And then there we go. Really spamming and then get back out. Make sure we eat one more time. Very dangerous situation to be in. And then right back into it. You seeing any more chat? Because I am not. So yeah, I um, I have one of the coolest little things that uh, kind of happened as a development for the stream, by the way, chat. Um, and I'm excited to talk about it. But I do want to make sure that we work out if this preview is going to work for my situation first. Because we found out that um, Minecraft 1.21 did not work with uh, trial chambers and vaults correctly at all. Okay, so crouch. And as soon as... Oh, wow, that did not work correctly. As soon as we deflect an arrow, we want to go finish off the rest of them. Uh, that's the way I believe it's just done best. So I'm going to try and jump in here. Oh, I need to eat. It is too dangerous for me not to eat. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do it. Grab a little bit of food. No, don't hurt me. Don't do it. Okay. Don't hurt me again, please. Go, 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 go. Okay. It's bad again. It's really bad. It's raining too. But I'm just here looking if there's a second ominous bottle. Because if there is, I really need to get my hands on it. So, finish you off. Perfect. Uh, use a water bucket to get in here, I guess. Sounds good to me. Scoop my way out. And there's a skeleton. <laughs> I don't know where he's gone now. But there was a skeleton. I'm 100% sure... Okay, there we go. <laughs> how, did he, how did he take that long to hit the first time? And then immediately go for a second one? Oh, this is where I found out the last stream. My bot is actually a bot. It says Nathaniel Goldberg. It's interesting to me how it feels so obvious to me that that's true, but it's not obvious to a lot of people. Like, you don't have to feel silly. Actually, you know what? You can feel silly, but you don't have to feel silly. Um, but it's surprising how many people believe the same. They're like yelling at Nightbot, like, Nightbot, you can stop calling yourself a robot. I'm coming to your house tonight, and I'm, I'm hurting your family for what you've done to me right here. And it does feel very crazy. So, by the way, the other thing we have to turn on right now is this. You know what this is, chat? It's something important. In fact, it's this. Yeah, there we go. Wonderful. Skeleton wanted a kiss. Yeah, I'm glad I gave him his kiss that he was looking after. But I'm not so glad uh, about the lack of second banner. Although, have we got space for a second banner? No, let's not do it. Although, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I'm glad <laughs> I have uh, some level of protection. Because that was one of the dumbest things I've done in hardcore. I've mentioned this before, but it really feels like full damage is the big bad in hardcore difficulty. And I kind of just exposed myself to it there. So now we'll throw away uh, just a single other item like polished deep slate so that we can pick up the bed. And now we're going back towards the trial chamber and we're hoping for the best. Waiting for Toy Cat to kiss every turtle he sees in this live stream, says Taitlin Larson. Good to see you, Taitlin Larson, by the way. Hope you're doing wonderfully. Um, oh, there's a ruin portal we should head towards first, I guess. And then we'll head that way, where I believe that mushroom island will lead me back to a trial chamber. I believe, but you know, I believe lots of things that I'm not sure about. Also, I wish you could renewably get ominous bottles from trial spawners. I really believe so, that would be cool too. Also, Shieldy, thank you so much for becoming the 378 channel member. Um, I, uh, you know, I feel like we have to do another, 
a crazy member event to get over 500 chat. What do you reckon? What what do we have to do that will convince 122 people to member up? <laughs> okay, ideas needed right now. Uh, Pixup's very quiet today. Thank you very much. It looks quiet, actually. Is Minecraft quiet? I think Minecraft is quiet today, right? Yeah, I see what's happened there. Okay, so tell me if you can hear things again now. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Thank you. Useful to spot. A lot of weird things happen in live streams. They don't always make sense. You just have to accept that sometimes things are going to be odd. And this was one of those times. So, um, yeah, I'm a real boy, says Nightbot. You know what? Uh, Nightbot is saying that it, he is real. And so I'm not going to, uh, as someone who believes in affirming people's own uh, self-identity, I'm going to say that Nightbot is, in fact, a real person. Because if Nightbot believes they're a real person, that is what is more important to me than finding out for sure. <laughs> do, I, do I get points for that? Also, inventory crisis, says Alex C. No, this isn't an inventory crisis. This is a perfectly managed inventory. You might not like it, but this is what peak inventory performance looks like. Hear me out here, right? So, also, we got lava if we want it. It'll be faster to go through the nether. It'll be way more dangerous. But what isn't these days, am I right? Yeah, let's live life on the edge. Let's let's live life a little little sillyly. But have a great time with it anyway. So we'll put a dirt block there. And then a water bucket over here. And we can mess this one up because there's a there's a second lava pit over here. And now we just want to mine that block. Oh, but with the water there. If we can. And there we go. And then we just want to jump up a little bit. Avoiding mobs at all costs, by the way. I'm so sure one is going to jump out on me or something. And then we're going to have our water go... Oh, we, we kind of want to do it from back here. <laughs> and we also want to have a hole over here and over here. But once we do that, we can have our water flow, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, no. Ne I messed it up, chat. But like I said, I was specifically prepared for this situation, as I always am. And uh, now I can just place these up to the sides nice and easily. By the way, really excited about 12080 coming out because it's going to fix this lava problem uh, that's existed for so long. Uh, Nightboy's a real boy. He's so duh. AI fanatics logic. It is a... Um, there is a really scary thought about... Um, if your toaster one day begs you to stop toasting in it, should you trust your toaster as being honest? What if your toaster is lying to you about not wanting to toast? You know, what if it's saying that it feels pain just so that you, it doesn't have to do a job anymore, you know? Is that a valid reason, though? I would say for humans, a lot of people would say, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're not, you know, like, what, what your reasoning is. You still get to have some time off work uh, if you feel like it. It's uh, There's a lot of dark thoughts when it comes to AI that you probably, uh, when it comes to uh, robots and their sentience, that you're probably just happier not thinking about. Pro tip with Toy Cat right there. Okay, so now I've got everything ready besides some wood and wood is very easy for me to find again look at this chat perfectly managed inventory um this is peak performance you again i i understand why why you would not be down with it but i just want you to know that you're bigoted against crowded inventories if you don't like mine just just so you know my toast is a lie because why do i put in free every day my toast is a different outcome every time as I understand it, it is a uh, it's a timer, right? I, I hope I'm not wrong about that. But it's uh, depending on how fast the heating element picks up heat, you'd get a different amount of heat. Like it, toasters are the one one of the most ridiculously imprecise machines we've ever invented. Honestly, why did we even invent them? Oh, wait, wait, we want to go, we want to go positive on the X and we want to go positive on the Z. Positive X, positive Z, chat. That's where we're heading in the Never until we find our old portal. This is dangerous. Also, what if your task asks you to make a toast? That's a very good question, Dasha. Um, I think you... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? I hate every time I hear the sound of pain in the nether. I'm reminded that you can just die. You just pick the wrong dimension. Okay. So, this is this is good. This is fine, actually. Yeah. So, negative X, positive Z. Oh, we found a bastion. Oh, no. Sorry. It lags. I forgot about that, chat. I forgot about the lag. I got it. Positive, positive? Is it positive, positive? Oh, I thought it was negative, positive. Um, okay, so... I don't want to be dealing with that right now. I'm gonna be honest. 
Oh yeah, there's a lot of that to be dealing with around here too. Okay, I'm just gonna get up nice and high above all this noise. Can they get up here too? Sure hope not. Okay, I've, I've moved my problem away. Now I just need to re-switch my inventory, re -kajigger it, and honestly, should we just go back to the other dimension, chat? Honestly, I kind of get some gold armor. Yeah, that's that's the easiest solution too. Throw that on the ground, uh, make some of these, make one of those. Uh, come on, game. You knew which one I wanted to make. Uh, why would you Why would you be difficult? So now I'll make some gold boots. Put those on. Throw these down. Now we're safe. Okay. Yeah, I do think... Usually I'm, like, pretty resistant to the idea. I had gold. I was ready for that moment. Speaking of ready for that moment, thank you to Kit. Hi, to Cat. Older viewer. Returning after five years. Oh. Good lag. Um, what are your current opinions on Gravel? Hope they are still just as visual. Uh, honestly, they updated Gravel to make it less ugly. It is a... Um, there is a real truth. Also, chat, is the game lagging for you, or is it just the on my screen? Like, my preview of what you're seeing looks laggy, but I don't see it. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is this is great, but yeah, it's not going anywhere for me. We'll come back in. I No, we'll try going this way. We'll, we'll see what we can find. I do think we have to go to sleep sooner than we can get anywhere. But I know I must be close to my other portal chat. I know it's got to be somewhere just over there. And I believe that I can get there fairly quickly if I just keep believing in myself. Yeah, it's got to it's gotta be like on the edge of this peninsula. Yeah, okay, you know, I'm committed. I'm committed to the nether as a strategy uh, despite its weaknesses. I think my portal is over here somewhere. I don't know where. Render distance set too high. Game bad performance. A little laggy for me. Okay, so it is laggy, people. Interesting. Um, yeah, the run distance in the never wouldn't be set too high. So I wonder what is causing it. It's a it's a never specific issue. Um, I bought a uh, PC that was like built by one of those companies specifically because the last time I installed one, I couldn't fix my RAM for years. I just I kept trying new things that would just break it in a slightly different way. And sometimes I'd fix it, but then I'd realize I just broke it in another way. Yeah, I don't see my old Never Portal. I figured this would be faster. And maybe one day it will be. But for now, I'm going to have to go via the Overworld chat. Which is a sad statement of reality. Okay, so let's get out there. Um, now that's uh, 330 slash 95. Thank you, Caffeine. Uh, could it be the experimental features? Yeah, there's a good chance there's something in there that just lowers performance in the Never. There's a lot of weird stuff like that they have to fix before the proper releases, uh, which are important things to fix. Uh, let it be known and let it be clear. Uh, so let's get it out. If you don't make it to day 33, the title is misleading, says Everett Lewis. Oh, don't don't wear my shoes, dude. I I feel a little slighted by that. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to kill you, but I want you to know that I don't agree with what you're wearing right now. Okay, so I want to get to sleep as soon as I can. Uh, whatever it takes, just first place into a bed. Go. Perfect. Hello, I'm IBX Toy Cat, and welcome to day 18. That's right, I survived it of my hardcore challenge thing. And uh, on day, on the, on the first day of uh, hardcoreness, my true internet gave to me a giant mushroom biome, that's for sure. Yeah, I think. Um, I think the trial chamber has got to be my first major destination. And if I can't go there via the nether, which was the, was the dream, but it's fine. If we can't go there via the nether, we can go there via the overworld. I think I'm going to get a mace today, but only if my structure is actually working. If it's not chat, we're going to have to do some really weird stuff that involves sugarcane. So I'm going to build towards that outcome now. I don't need this trial chamber map anymore, even though I like it. And I don't need these poison arrows anymore. So I'm going to just pick up some sugar cane because it's a backup option for me. And then I'm going to make a crafting table. Please make it from the right stuff this time. What is wrong with you crafting tables? I do not understand your logic. Um, pick up that. And then make some more pink stuff. Make that into a lovely pink boat. And let's go rowing. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to row my boat. I'm going to row my boat. I'm going to go some places. Okay, so 
Run to other viewers, no chunk face. I would be shocked if anyone went in to find my seed. I, I know there's like some menus you might be able to find it, but went in to find my seed and then would non-consensually give me trial chambers for someone's. Um, yeah, if, I, if, if this trial chamber is continually broken, chat, I am very willing to find another villager, trade with him, because I've got some emeralds on me, right? Oh, I don't. I'm willing to go get some emeralds. I think I have some over there. Use those, combine with some sugarcane, and then buy because I've got a compass over there too, and make it all work great. I think you mine bricks with the mace. You should get the cracked version of the bricks. I like that, Conito. Uh, De La Merte. How's everyone doing today anyway? Uh, chat, how is your Thursday evening going? I was excited. I got to watch the... Uh, I started watching the Fallout show. Fallout's one of my favorite, like, game universes. It's weird. Maybe this is me being, like, strange. But there's some universes I love so... M oh, interesting. Did the screen go black for you ever insta... It's twice, second time that's happened to me. But, um, there's some, like, game universes I love, like, more than the games. It's kind of the opposite with Minecraft, right? I think this is one of the problems with trying to make a Minecraft movie. Is people love playing Minecraft. And the lore around it kind of follows because they like playing it. I think so, at least. Um, whereas, you know, the Mario movie goes to so many iconic Mario locations. For example. Um, Minimod is teething, so great. Oh yeah, teething is when you have like a really good time every day, right? You're feeling real happy. You're like, yeah, I've got some teeth. I'm feeling good about life. I'm pretty sure that's what happens there, at least. Um, so yeah, I'm glad. It sounds like everyone's doing great. There's actually quite a few people not doing great, which I think is natural. I'd be concerned if everyone said they were doing good, because it meant it would mean that people felt the need to lie there. If you break gravel with the mace, you should receive sand, renewable sand. Yeah, that's a fun idea too, honestly. That's a fun idea. Not too great, rather sore throat, but I got a lot of cleaning done, so that's nice. I, I feel like the one benefit sickness brings is like a disruption to a routine. Like routines are valuable, but you also need to know when to break a routine, right? It's a surprising challenge in life. There's so much of it is built around like, oh yeah, you need to know how to build a routine. Except, ah, you also need to know how to be good at not doing that. I guess every skill in life is like when to be really good at the thing and when to be really good at not doing the thing. Speaking of chat, I have one of the... So, uh, I, I, I recently did a sponsorship on the second channel. By recently, I mean I think it went up today, just before this, this stream. And, um, interestingly, um, they specifically said it was okay for me to promote the same thing here. And the reason I want to do this, this, this is very strange. But basically, uh, a lot of people always ask, like, what's the best method to tip? So that the most, you know, amount of tip goes to you versus YouTube, etc. And usually the answer is Streamlabs. YouTube takes 30%, Streamlabs takes 5%. But I've got a really interesting offer for you, chat, that I'm allowed to tell you about. And it's basically a way where if you live in the United States, at the very least, uh, you can tip and it will four times the money go to me. Um, so HelloFresh, it's the meal service. You get food delivered to you. Blah, 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 blah. It's really good, I think. It's uh, um, I, I, I think it's very handy when you want to cook for yourself, but you don't. Uh, dealing with pre-portioning ingredients is like such a pain. Uh, HelloFresh have a fun little deal going on. Oh, I thought this was my, I thought this was my trial chamber, but it's a ship. Ugh. But they have a fun little deal going on, um, where where they're sponsoring the channel and they'll pay a substantial amount more than your first box cost uh, as a payment for simply clicking the link down below and signing up for your first uh, thing. As long as you uh, do receive at least a single box. Uh, they are willing to, you know, because of marketing budgets and the fact that they think their service is so good that you'll want to stay for more. And so, uh, if you want to do a real solid for me, internet, if you want to both make my channel look like I'm doing way better at it, but also seriously get like a 4x uh, multiplier on the amount of support for the channel, sign up for any HelloFresh subscription using the link down below, and you get some huge percent off, you get free shipping, you get... You also get dessert for life if you want to, like dessert of every box. And also, you give a huge amount of uh, revenue to the channel. To the level where I'm promoting it right now on a live stream. How often do I do sponsored live streams? It's not like a... Oh, that wasn't... That wasn't a smart idea to drink that stew, was it? By the way, everyone's been saying blindness stew isn't real. Everyone made fun of me for thinking it is. But I clearly just drank some. 
You know, if, uh, a product is good if Toy Cat's willing to take a sponsorship from them. Thank you, Gold Doctor. It, it really is a thing I'm very picky about sponsorships on this channel. And HelloFresh is one of those services that I genuinely really love. Like, if I lived in the US, I would be signing myself up for a box. I'd be signing my friends and family up for boxes. Um, if only for the first one, because it's such a huge discount for your first one. Uh, and then also you get to help out. It's like one of those... Uh, thank you, Dasha, for sharing the link. If you would like uh, to uh, support, then that's a great way. Yeah, I, um, I've been on a specific diet now. Loads of salt. Yeah, it's weird. I only learned recently that you need to increase your salt intake as you age. Something about, like, children basically die if you give them too much salt. And adults basically die if you don't give them too much salt. Um, it exists in the UK too, though. For whatever reason, the offer it... So, here's the interesting thing, James Crow. I, I am fascinated by the internal workings of companies, but I'm in the UK, says Alex C. I, uh, sadly, only USA residents can take part because it's a HelloFresh US. They've got... They're, they're making they're trying to make a huge expansion there. That's why they're willing to pay so much per customer. Also, chat, where is my Where's my where's my trial chamber from last time? I was sure it was over there, but I've just been there and I didn't find it. Where is it? Um You were eating the soup. <laughs> I um But yeah, I uh I anyway, so just one last little push. If there is anything uh, if you've ever considered getting meal delivery services, um, good, please do try HelloFresh. Just use the link down below, and it will do a huge, like an un a ridiculously huge bonus to the channel. It is something I would really, really appreciate. Um, again, it both makes me look good, but also it's the biggest commission I've ever seen for an ad like that. Like, you know, like getting like, you know, like a percent cut is like nice. Getting a several hundred percent cut, it's like, yeah. For every, you know, X dollar you tip there, it turns into a lot more than X dollars. Um, so yeah, if you could, if you're in the US, if you have any inkling of the tiniest amount, or even if you just want to support the channel, if you get a box delivered, if you didn't eat any of the ingredients, but you'll get, you know, $20 worth of stuff, right? Like uh, fresh fresh fruit, vegetables, cheese, nuggets. Also, 830, 1670 is the trial chamber. So the trial chamber is way deeper that way. Okay, we'll go that way. After we pick up any sugarcane on the shore here, because she sells sugarcane by the seesaw. Wait, <laughs> I messed up one of the syllables in that word. But that's fine, we'll pretend we didn't. So yeah, it's basically just another 600 blocks that way. So the shipwreck was the right direction. I knew I was going the right way, but the shipwreck messed me up afterwards. So I get when his locational map isn't important, but two sticks is. <laughs> it's 47 sticks, excuse you. Um, they only have low salt as an option, says Diamond the Cat. Um, I believe, Diamond the Cat, if you... I, I believe you can add... So they've got loads of different nutritional... Also, HelloFresh taking a negative multiplying cut. Yeah, HelloFresh is there being like, yeah, we will we will take negative 300% of any money that people who subscribe to the service give us. And it's like, that's, that's, that's a good offer. Oh, here it is. Oh, it was right next to it, chat. I was so close by. How... How was I that close and I didn't see it until just... I'm building a big, big pillar up. I'm making this very clear for future me. Do I have any copper? I don't. Um, I bet I have some copper down there. So let's inventory manage real quick. Inventory manage. I must manage my inventory. So I'll throw it all in here. Um, so manage the inventory real quick. Just, you know, put the stuff that's important but not right now in here. Uh, like the trial chambers map and the woodland explorer map. Throw it in. And then let's go grab some copper, if we have any. I guess copper's gonna be a hard one to find. I guess we should just use cherry wood. It's big, it's pink. We'll make a big flag of it or something. Yeah, I think I think some cherry wood with some cobblestone at the top. That'll do the job, right? It'll it'll do the job. So we use dark oak for the thing, for like the flagpole. And then some cherry wood for the for the rest of it. Nice and easy. So first though, we're gonna go to sleep because sleeping is important and there are monsters nearby, so we can't do that. Can I sleep here? Still monsters nearby. How about here? No monsters over here, thankfully. Wow, we made it through day 18. It was very easy, actually. Every time Toycat needs military, uh, every time Toycat needs some cords, I do a military sleep. I'm on it, boss. <laughs> Love the dedication, gotta say. Um, when you try to sort of skip forward on a stream, 
You know what? Let's slow down if you're trying to skip this. So... The interesting thing about HelloFresh is that you can use them any... You know, they've got so many nutritional things sorted out. I really do like... Um, I feel like I, I have this bias in me that like a lot of companies that try to get YouTubers to advertise them. Like it's a very particular type of business. It's subscription businesses, but they're, usually they've got some unique pitch where they don't think it will work unless they have influencers, which to me makes me go like, so what is your, what's your enemy here basically? Also, yeah, that should make it a lot more visible from above. And now, now here's the test. Will my previously broken Vaults now work, chat. If my previously broken vaults won't work, I am screwed beyond all belief. Um, but we'll just hope they do. That's my solution to most problems. It's just kind of hope <laughs> when you try to increase the playback speed in the stream. Yeah, there you go. Now, now, now you want to increase the playback speed and skip it. Which I guess, honestly, people watching this back later, I guess you can do that. Oh, if you're watching this back later, if it's within a week of, or two of the li thing going live, please do consider the HelloFresh thing too. Massively would help out the channel. Uh, there's a reason I'm mentioning it so much. It's one of the best, like, offers that has ever come my way. Um, and it's one of the best ways to support a channel. And so I want to make sure that people know that, like, I don't know, it's, it's the equivalent of making, you know, a huge plus percent on your tip. Okay, so only ominous vaults work. Oh, they haven't fixed the regular vaults. They just made ominous vaults work now. <laughs> okay, well, that's nice. I mean, it's solving part of the problem. Okay, so I'm going to still use a bow. And I think I need a better axe at this point. But yeah, we're going to come in here and we're going to test a vault. And then if the vault doesn't work, uh, we're going to see if the ominous vaults look like they work. You can tell pretty easily from like this far away. The ominous bolt definitely works, chat. And as long as you see a heavy core in there. Do you see a heavy core in there, chat? I, I hope I see a heavy core. Oh, arrows, diamonds, arrows, XP bottles, ender pearls, banners, diamonds, wind charges, diamonds, trims, arrows. Okay, so I haven't seen a single heavy core yet. Hmm. There we go, we found one. Okay, so it's definitely in there. So I can't use regular vaults to get this ominous. Oh, we have to watch out. Okay, we've just activated one. I, I'm going to unactivate it, basically. And I think we're just going to go for it with the ominous bottle. I think I'm just going to accept that this trial chamber is not going to give me any regular bottles. Uh, any regular keys or any regular benefit. So let's just go in for the ominous version. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to be very tactical and only use this when I'm about to go into a room. Okay, here's a great example of a room. I like this one a lot. So I'm going to go in there in a little bit. I'm going to... Or maybe I should come back for this one. I've probably been far enough away now. Okay, so I'm going to drink this. It's now become a bad omen, but it'll become a trial omen when I get near a trial spawner, right? It's now a trial omen. I've got 15 minutes of trial spawners. Let's go. Okay, okay. I'm not emotionally prepared for all of this. I forgot how hard a trial chamber is normally, chat. So, me loading on this extra challenge. Probably not what I need most right now. Okay, let's go for it. Oh, where did that poison even come from? So, yeah, we got to watch out for lots of nonsense, to say the least. Oh, no. Okay. I've got slow falling right now. It's the least necessary enchantment for my current predicament. But it's nice that the game is thinking about me, anyway, you know? Okay, let's go. Let's just finish off. Okay, this these guys are going to be hard to get. So I'm going to have to camp their spawner. Okay, go. Let them let them finish each other off. Meanwhile, I'll shoot some arrows from a distance. Oh, I'm just going to hang out back here. Yeah, finish. Yeah, yeah, hurt me. What do you like? Let's see how well this goes for you, buddy. Okay, there's a, there's a breeze I've got to watch out for, too. Oh, uh, also, this shield is only going to last so long. Oh, Lord, chat. My shield is gone. My shield is gone. Okay. Okay. So that seems bad. Where is the breeze? He's still hurting me. Why is he still hurting me? Oh, he has a sword. Or a shovel, that is. Oh, and there's also a guy here. 
Okay, so I'm backed up in all directions. Oh, there he is. No! Please get out of my way. No! No! It's so bad. I'm surrounded on all sides. I don't have blocks in my inventory. It's the one thing I say. I always need to have my inventory. And I did not have it. That was poor form right there. That was very poor form. We almost lost our entire hardcore world for something that I feel like was quite avoidable. But now we have to do my favorite part of Minecraft Bedrock, which is there is no fast regeneration outside of these bottles. I should have drank that, by the way. I should have drank the bottle. I panicked in the wrong... I don't have any blocks on me. I've got hay bales, but that's not really a block, is it? Okay, I need to go back in. Um, I need to pick up some blocks, and I need to go back in. Also, sim some food. I'll, I'll do food now, because my food is already feeling scarce. I'll... I'll deal with it now before it actually gets scarce. I think that's the the logical way to look at this one. So let's go back in there. Uh, is it down? I don't remember it being down. Chat, where did... Oh, okay. Thank you. You are sneaky. You are too sneaky for me. Um, yeah, I have no idea where my exit for this is. Is it just up another floor? I was so sure it was here. But I don't... Was it up there, maybe? Yeah, it's on the top floor. Okay. Easy as that. I'm just lost and confused in a trial chamber while I've got a ticking uh, raid omen going. But besides that, things are great. Things are fine. I am fine. <laughs> we'll make a whole other stack of them, actually. You can never use too much bread. And then we're going to make sure we just grab a whole stack of whatever we can. 37 cobble deep slate. If that's what it takes, that's what it takes. Now let's jump down and let's finish that skeleton. Or actually, let's finish it first. And the breeze is going to be really good to kill down here, actually. Oh, I need a shield. I forgot about that. Don't have a shield. Need a shield. I've got the iron. I don't have the wood. The wood's going to be on the surface. Let's hope we can find some somewhere down here. Um, this is going to slow me down a lot. Uh, come on. Um, I believe the, the middle rooms here are most likely to have wood. I don't know if it's true, but it feels so true, right? So give me some wood barrel. Yeah, my feelings are correct. <laughs> and also we got I'm gonna spawn here just to keep that one in mind. Okay. So I need to get right back in there, but I need a shield first. This is where this is finding our way for a trial chamber. I wouldn't have it any other way, Dasher. Wouldn't have it any other way. Put this all in there. Put the shield out now. Now I know it's a fully repaired shield, so I'm gonna feel a little bit better about making reckless decisions. And then we're gonna just try and hit as many enemies. From up here as we can. And then... Oh! Oh! Ouch! Oh, perfectly poorly timed circumstances there. Oh, perfectly poorly timed. Oh, I'm dead, chat. I'm dead. And we have to drink this. And then we have to just eat this. And I don't know how that went so bad so quickly. Also, how did I even hit the floor? That's a... Okay. That's a question I should be asking too. Why did I not hit the floor? Okay, so I need to... Where is he? Where did he go? Okay, so over there. Okay, so I can hit his attacks back in. Really, just go for the finish. That's what matters. Make sure I get bread eaten at any opportunity. And also that we kill any and all husks too. Oh, scary. Very scary, chat. I've gone... Even regen potion is slow on bedrock. Yeah, it's because they don't have to compete with the actual regen. So they just don't bother. Okay, he's going down. Come get me, man. Do it. Yeah, shoot me. Okay, so there's a silverfish. Don't know where he came from. Oh, it's going to be one of those weird mob effects. So we don't have to kill the silverfish. We just have to stop the silverfish from getting to meat. Um, so every time we kill an enemy, we probably will get more silverfish, but that's fine. As long as I'm avoiding the potion effects, I'm feeling good. Eat one of those. Run back in. I'm covered in silverfish effects. Oh, we got an ominous key chat. Oh, yes. Okay, let me show you this. Put it out. Yes. Ominous trial key. I might get a heavy core already. It's a 1 in 12 chance, I believe. Um, if they haven't changed it since my last seed Sunday. And so I am... I love the idea that we might just 1 in 12 it right off the bat. Um, so power our way for as many spawners as we can. That includes the, um, the breeze, by the way. He has to go down. Oh, what's happening? It's Silfish. <laughs> Silfish is going badly. Okay. So I might have to kill the silverfish for this camp. There you are. Yes, please. I love breezes. They're so easy to kill. 
I know they were meant to be these intimidating threats, but at this point, I just don't feel intimidated by them. Because it's bird breeze uh, when you're on ominous frequency. That's fine of me, though. That's very fine of me. I should have brought them. Okay, there we go. Second key, perhaps? No, baked potatoes. <laughs> uh, so we'll finish up one more spawner. Is that good? Um, I don't know if that is good. And we'll also... Oh, a baby chicken. Where did you come from, baby chicken? You're going to have to explain that to me at some point. Um, I should have brought my bed down here, really. Uh, how long do I have left on the trial moment? Eight minutes. So we can just... We'll jump downstairs. We'll see if we find anything. I think that's probably the last... Last of them, though. Come on, baked potatoes. I don't get out of bed for baked potatoes. I feel like the game should know this. I feel like the game does know this. And is very much trolling me. So very well played for that one, I guess. Pretty sure Silfish are the only hostile mobs that are real animals. Um, all of the insects are, right? So bees, uh, Silfish, and uh, spiders. I mean, spiders aren't that hostile in real life. I mean, neither are Silfish, but they feel hostile. I don't want them in my house, and they insist on staying anyway. Therefore, they are hostile. Egg and shooter. Oh, that makes sense if there was an egg hidden around somewhere. Very clever. A uh, little, little thing on the game's behalf. Thank you, by the way, Jibei! Thanks for remembering. How are you doing this day? Um, that's uh, you, one of the OGs of the stream, Jibei is. Um, I think the G stands for Gary. Um, but I know the B stands... I know, I know the Bay stands for... You know, I actually don't know what Bay is. I'm assuming it's like baby and every... No, wait. Rejoin to see what color cat I'd get after all these years. You got you got the Thanos looking cat. Um, let me tell you, that's that's what we got going on there. Um, yes, yeah, silfish are real. I haven't uh, seen them. I have silfish all over my house. It's one of the worst things. One of the worst things in life. By the way, we made it through day 19. I'm impressed. I need to. Okay, so I've got seven minutes, six minutes, chat. This is terrible. I just need to get back down ASAP. I'm wasting every second of this. And it's terrible. I've got the bed. And I've got a very messy inventory too. Just come on. Just speed this up. I really need to make like a fast drop system for this situation here. Haven't done it yet. Regret not doing it. It's okay. Okay, down. down faster. Faster. <laughs> it's so messy. My, my pathway's down here. Yeah, after this, we'll definitely consider the idea of not having it be so time-consuming. Because I'm in a real hurry, and I felt like the infrastructure was not also in a hurry. So, put that in there, put that in there, and that in there, and that in there, and that in there. But perfect. Okay, let's go. Next room. No time to waste on silliness, I say, as I do something a little silly. Um, probably took too many hearts of damage there. For what could have been an easy ladder ride. But let's activate some more... Ominous spawners. We'll quickly just make this a little harder for... Ah, no! No! What? Where was the creeper? <laughs> Chat! Chat! Where did the creeper come from? <laughs> of all the ways to die in hardcore... I was so emotionally prepared for the actual threat. As you can see, a single creeper explosion, just a single one, is enough to mess up your entire life. Your whole life, it's gone. If a creeper, I, I had seven hearts, if I'm not mistaken. It might be seven and a half. Let's go back and watch it, you know? Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's take a little, little refresher. Um, I can only, you know, let's go to my own live stream actually. So let's go there right now. You know, let's go to my own live stream actually. Okay, so um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. We're gonna watch my stream together, internet. Okay, so we're gonna go back. Uh, so this is the setup I use when I'm recording second channel videos. Um, let's see if it works. It looks like it does. Okay, so as you can see right here. Um, We'll, 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 we'll go theater mode. Okay. Hey, thanks so here's for me, here's me two minutes ago. I, like the, uh, I made a poor decision. I, I let, I let myself take three and a half hearts, four and a half hearts of damage 
from full. Too many hearts. Very dumb by itself. And then I walk in this room. Look at it. Look at it, chat. The room is empty. There is no creeper. If there was a creeper, I know I would have seen him. Let's activate some. And then I look left. I'm guessing what happened, if you go back a few frames, is over here on the right, there's a creeper perfectly hidden by the wall there. And that creeper decides to walk out the exact moment I decide to cover it. Activate some more. So I look over there. And then I start building. Do you see the creeper chat? Make this a little harder. Oh, he's that. How, look at that perfection in creeper timing. He's, he's, it's so soon. How? And then I'm at seven hearts, chat. Seven hearts. I've got armor on. I've got, I think, decent armor on. And that, and that single explosion. Ah, uh, I just, that, that single Let's, let's, <laughs> you can see, I know here I'm dead, chat. At this moment, I am aware I am dead. Look at me. That's the face of someone who knows that his death, is just me. his death warrant has been signed. <laughs> and I, if I, if I'd have reacted fast enough, could I have shielded? Let's let's assume that a shield tech. So let's quickly um, let's quickly go to spectate mode. Um, so um, let's just in case there's some stuff I need. Okay, so if we if I'd have shielded up, could I have done it in time? Like you can see, oh uh, yeah, just there's so little that happens in that time. I have enough time to go up, oh, and that's it. It's all over. Ah, no. Look at that speed. That speed between... There. It's just... It's just too intense. Ah, no. No! <laughs> Even slows down the game as he explodes. Make this a little harder for... There's, there's just no way, chat. Even if I crouch... I don't think I'm getting a crouch off in time. I think it's just... I don't think I can do... <laughs> Uh, it just, it just sucks. It just, it's pain, but we need to go through pain sometimes. No! Oh! <laughs> what? <laughs> Where was the creeper? <laughs> this is, this is, this is someone who's just died in hardcore. <sighs> well, you know what? My new video is uh, the one that just came out. If you go to IBX Toy Cat. Very perfect for this moment right here. So here's the challenge now, chat. Um, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back here. I um, I can't play hardcore on the same world anymore. And if you wanna know a secret as to why, it's because I am dead. I can no longer play hardcore on a seed if I am not alive to do so. However, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the kicker. Here's my world, by the way. Do you want to look at it from a distance? Here is the last four hours of effort, and it is currently for now. <laughs> it's um, it's nice. It's a very, it's a very lovely world we've got going on here. Um, I, it's days like this that make me sorry. I gave up methamphetamines as dead marsh. I, uh, I was looking forward to finishing this house. I never will now. Also, I can't look inside the chest, interestingly. It's not true spectator mode, is it? Um, but yeah, I, I was looking forward to finishing this house. I was looking forward to leveling up these villagers. Seeing what they had going on. This will be in a worst hardcore deaths compilation video. I would love to see it on one. I'll be honest with you. Uh, your video released by Hardcore's Better on Bedrock came up just as you're in shock from dying on Bedrock Hardcore. <laughs> Chat, let's watch that, that, that's quickly. You know, it's, it just seems reasonable. Just released a video that seems very topical to the thing that's just happened. So let's ignore me face palming because <laughs> it's such a perfect image. It's such a perfect image. And um, let's go to the channel. And then let's go to videos. Um, oh, this is, this is, uh, 
Here's, here's the thumbnail. I hope you like Hardcore it. Hardcore came to... And, uh, yeah, it's all about Bedrock. Hardcore on Bedrock. You can see and some you can footage. Jump straight in because you can of see the some fun stuff. Of Bedrock, it has I... some modifications, <laughs> mate. <laughs> some nice editing by Harrison. Big fan. Um, but, yeah, this is, uh, this is the video. Uh, it's obviously not, not really, uh, y y here's, the, here's the live stream. You can watch part one and then you can watch part two. I might have to update the title on this, actually. You know, should we go in there and do this? Okay, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's quickly hop in and say, uh, you know, title, uh, day 17 to, uh, 20. <laughs> there we go. Now it's accurate. No one can say it's not. And, uh, at this point, here's the thing, chat. I think now's the time to start a brand new Hardcore Wild. Right? Tell me if you think I'm wrong, chat. I think now's the time. I think we have only been streaming for a half an hour, if that. Wait, no. For an hour, if that. And so I think we start a brand new Hardcore World. Let's do it. I mean, we only lost four hours in this one. I mean, what is four hours, really? In the grand scheme of life. New world. Let's do it. Um, so we can also manage our worlds. I've got too many worlds right here. So I'm going to take a little break to, to relax myself. I'm going to delete all of these survival hardcore worlds. Uh, 1 through 50. So we're going to go to our settings. We're going to go to storage. Oh, we're going to wait for Minecraft to decide is okay. Oh, Minecraft just crashed. Well, <laughs> new hardcore world. Let's go anyway. I can do it. So again, it has too many worlds. Yeah, so here's the plan. I'm going to delete some worlds first. I never delete worlds, and so I'm going to... To make sure I do it, I've said I will do it publicly. Accountability buddy and all that stuff. And so I just scroll through these, and I look for all the one worlds, and I delete them. 34, 28, 49. So we can just delete the numbers, because I know they're 1 through 50. And that will allow me to have a significantly uh, faster deleting process. Look at this, 3, 11, 3, 5, 3, 30, 7, all gets deleted nice and easily. And, um, yeah, look at that. I don't know, by the way, I have no idea how it's ordering these worlds. They seem horrifically out of order in a way that I can't honestly understand. But it's not my job to understand them. It's my job to delete them. All these worlds, TNT showcase? No, I might have to keep that. I don't know. See, we're, all these worlds I've committed to deleting, and so I'll do precisely that right now. Worlds deleted. Gone. Okay, chat. So for anyone who thinks I have too many Minecraft worlds, look, I'm, I'm down to 73 now. 73 worlds. If you think that's too many worlds, then I don't know what to tell you. What is attempt 10? Oh, these are, other, these are some of the attempts that I would have. So we'll get rid of 13. I don't know how I missed that. Delete the world. Look, we're down to 72 now. And we'll delete attempt number nine too. Silly to keep that one. And we'll, we'll delete attempt number one as well. And once we delete this as well as attempt number 10, we'll be down to a reasonable number of Minecraft worlds, I think. Yeah. Sorted. Definitely by size. I feel like size is the wrong way to do it. Like, you definitely want by date, right? Unless, I guess you're in storage to make some space, right? Maybe. Do you think I should delete some Minecraft worlds by... I guess I could delete all of these. All the IBX trials. 73 was too many, but 69 is pretty good. I heard you died, it says Harrison Gray. Oh no, you heard incorrectly. What happened is I just decided out of nowhere, with no motivation, no, no reason whatsoever, I'm going to start Hardcore right here, right now. Hardcore and less. Um... No, let's not, let's not. Let's, what, what should be our unique hardcore twist this time? New hardcore series. Chat, that's, that's what we're going to work out right here, right now. Oh, so you never actually started. Yeah, I just, I just kind of decided I was done with that last hardcore world. Um, <laughs> I just kind of decided, you know, I, no, no reason. Just sometimes you, you move on with things in life. It's very normal. Happens to us all, chat. Let me tell you. But I want to start a brand new hardcore world. Um, 
I just decided to start brand new world. You're turning into every other Minecraft player. No. <laughs> okay. So, what should be, what should be the unique twist behind our newest 1.21 hardcore world chat? It'd be fun to do like path to mending with the villager trade rebalancing. Do extreme hardcore. We could do hardcore with no natural regen. Imagine trying to do hardcore get the mace of no natural regen. That'd be wild. I like that. You know what, chat? You've convinced me. It's secretly Minecraft hardcore, but I have unlimited lives. Hardcore, but I actually play safely. I was playing very safely. Excuse you. You know, something fun that I can do. Okay, so here's what we got so far. Random seed. Wait, you can do flat world hardcore? Oh. Well, that changes things, huh? That'd be fun. Ultra flat survival, but it's hardcore. Yeah. Yeah, that's got that's got a nice ring to it. 100 days hardcore, but I start on day 20. <laughs> I, um... Yes, hardcore flat. I love the idea of hardcore flat. To get just discovered his next series. <laughs> I, I think it's a good idea. So here's the other challenge. Can you take an existing world and make it hardcore? Or sorry, not an existing world. Can you take a... Uh, so I want to do flat, but the best flat world thing that exists. We all know what it is. Is it in here? I think it's in here. Um, so we go... Um, why do I have 460 worlds downloaded? Um, so we type in Toy Cat. And we get the wrong, wrong, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll click this. And then from here, we can click IBX Toy Maps. Then from there, we find Ultra Flat Survival. We're going to download that. And we're going to see if maybe, just maybe, it's possible to create this world. Okay. And then you can't earn achievements. That's fine. So we can start this on Hardcore Difficulty, chat. Ultra Flat with all the add-ons and Super Booth Hot Nanny. What is Super Booth Hot Nanny? But yeah, if we wanted to, we could turn on Villager Trade Rebalancing too. That would be really fun in this world. Yeah, that might be that might be fun. Yeah, you know, it, uh, we could also, again, not that I'm necessarily looking to it right now. We'd add some behavior packs. So I can not add the guns or anything, but I could add, uh, <laughs> I could add uh, some extra little bonuses. Farming, for example, could be fun. Honestly, I kind of see it, right? Um, but I don't think we should. I think we should stick it to how it is. Ultra flat. So I'm just going to test right now, chat. I just want to see for sure. You have all the biomes, so it's no big deal. Yeah, it would force you to make villages across all those biomes. I'm just going to see right now. I'm going to just load up an ultra flat world with the hardcore on. And we're just going to see. We're just going to see. Um, so bonus chest optional. Villager tech tree. Yeah, we got all this stuff in here. Chat, I, th I think we might have found our next series. I think we might be onto something right here. Um, so, yeah, by the way, here's, here's the fun thing about this. You can keep these maps with you. So this is, this is the differences between uh, this and the base game so that you can craft things that otherwise aren't possible on super flat. So end portal frames, uh, blaze rods. It's a basic recipe, but it's a fun one in my opinion. Uh, the tech tree for the base game is still listed here. You kill zombies till you get iron. Then you use iron till you get a bucket. You use bucket till you get water. You use the water to get a drown. Drown to get the copper. Copper to get the lightning rod. Lightning rod to get the zombie pigmen. Then you use the zombie pigmen to get the gold, which you use to get golden apples, which you use to kill some zombie villagers. Then you use those to get villagers. Make, add the new additions to there. And try to do that in hardcore mode. You have a lot of fun, I think. A Dobra Hose map, art, map arts. Yeah, I think they're really well put together given the the constraints of pixel art in Minecraft. Quick start mode when the grind is too much. What do you think this does? I forgot about quick start mode, chat. We added it in the last update. Oh. You can skip straight to the cauldron. That is a nice part of the grind skip. It's funny that it's fairly small in the grand scheme of things, but it is a it is a nice grind skipper. And also you get the bucket, I guess, which is maybe also. So can we unquick start? Oh, we can just keep on doing it. <laughs> okay. Um, and then warp everyone to the world. Once you do this, you can't return. So I've got to decide between having structures on or off. So this is structures disabled. But we could play with structures enabled. I think we're not going to. I think we do structureless and uh, or no coordinates. 
You know what you're right, Dasher? Let's fix that right now. The reason we don't show coordinates by default on this map is because um, the way we do structures versus no structures is really easy. Oh, chat, chat. It doesn't, it doesn't work on hardcore. <laughs> you can't play this map on hardcore because we rely on killing you to warp you to the world. <laughs> Whoopsie. Well, you know what? That was a good series, chat. I... I was hoping we'd go for a few more episodes, but I hope you enjoyed episode one of Ultra Flat Survival. Um, episodes uh, two through, uh, you know, episode one, but again, will be soon. This is what Ultra Flat Survival looks like, by the way. This is why I want to do it. It's it's Flat World Survival with 16 biomes as the easiest sale pitch, but then we actually have access to other content, which you can easily get in here. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to die. I'm going to level with you. Um, can you easily... So we can make the world creative, right? We can't. It's locked. So we are actually locked out of this world. So yeah, we just have to look at it and say, oh, isn't it nice, chat? Now speedrun deaf in this uh, world. Yeah, so we have to restart another one now. Pretend that didn't happen. So I guess, can you... You can't turn on hardcore later either. What's the way around that? You'd have to have a teleportation. But you can't do hardcore and cheats. And you can't turn on hardcore later. Okay, so... Unlock anyway. If we turn on... Yeah, it's literally impossible if you, if you turn on cheats and turn on hardcore. They disable each other. So unless you can turn on cheats and then later turn on hardcore. But I don't think you can. Okay, chat. Let's see if we can work this out. Can we play hardcore? Okay, we're just gonna turn off structures real quick. We're gonna we're not gonna skip the grind. We're gonna let the death happen. And now I, I want to start hardcore from here, right? Can we do that? So I've got a brand new world. And I'm I'm genuinely deeply curious. You can't. You can only enable hardcore when the world is being formed. And you can't go into creative. No, yeah, I think we're screwed. I think I think the way we designed this map. Hey, Ultra Flat. Uh, Deshi, I was wondering, is can you think of a workaround to play this map on hardcore? Because we tried playing on hardcore, but we we died and went into spectator mode, because that's how we get there. The death warp, I never considered that. Yeah, you know what, chat? My my dream. My dream stream has been thwarted. What if you duplicate the world? But you still you're still stuck either before the warp or after the... You could go into the metadata and, like, do it that way. But then that kind of defeats the point. Um, yeah, I guess rather than death warping, we should just have a regular warp. <laughs> that could have solved everything. <laughs> but again, it's, so, it's, it's something you don't think about until you see it. Until it happens to you. I, I hadn't thought about it until just now, is what I'm saying right there. Um... You know what? We'll have to we'll have to roll out an update for that. You'd be there after the warp. But if I duplicate the Yeah, unless there's a way to turn off hardcore once you turn it on. Okay, okay. So we will I will turn off death. It's not an option. Um Yeah, okay. So here option number 2. We start it on hardcore. And we're going to break our way out. So what were the coordinates, Dasher? Um, if we just break our way out using our fist... Oh, I can't change them. I've got to unlock options. I'm just going to find... I think it's just above me right now. I think it's... We're at minus 511. Oh, God. So, chat, if you look at my Y coordinate, it's a long way out. But we'll, we'll, we'll see it. How did YouTube get the world thumbnail? That's a good question. Deadly Dark decks. Okay, so... The stream itself proves the title of today's video. Oh no, it's Bedrock above there. <laughs> We're in a Bedrock box. There's no way out of the Bedrock box. You think there is sometimes, but there don't be. So if I break this, have I made it impossible to do anything? Warp everyone to the world. Once you do this, you can't return. Maybe back this way. Wait in the void. Um, 
Yeah, this, it's it's death loop. Coordinates were hidden behind a day count when you're in spectator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you have another person join in created mode, then teleport you? No, I think when you start the world, it has to be hardcore or not hardcore. And everyone's going to be in hardcore or not. Okay, wait, 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 chat. What if someone joins the world? Okay, okay, here's my new solution. Okay, okay. So I believe that you hitting that button kills you. So someone has to join my world and be a martyr. And we have to hope it doesn't kill me as well. It might kill me as well. I'm going to make the guess that it won't. So we'll turn multiplayer on. Uh, multiplayer. Friends of friends. Anyone is welcome to join this first time. And um, we're going to do something a little bit wild. Should be an easy fix for the map. Uh, just in case of switching to regular teleport plus spawn set. Is there a technical reason the pressure plate doesn't just TP? Okay, so chat, if you have me at Xbox or you have a friend of mine, um, or Harrison, if, you, if you've got an Xbox near you, or a Minecraft near you, uh, do give it a join. You know, we'll, we'll add, we'll, se we'll send invites to anyone who's on Minecraft right now. Lone Wolf, okay, we, we'll, we'll hope someone joins. It would, you'd have to kill everyone, I think. Yeah, I'm guessing it might kill everyone, right? But I also think that it would be weird to kill at A. I, I don't know, it, it feels like it'd be weird to me. We'll hope that it's not. So in the meantime, we'll look at what we could do with this map if we were to play it. Again, this is, in my opinion, the definitive version of Superflat. Because we added all these fun little bonuses. So foxes can give you diamonds, rarely. Piglins can give you gold and all that trades and stuff. Uh, you can trade with um, the Wandering Trader for lava or for mycelium. Lava gives you access to the nether. Okay, Horned and Zombie. Can you, can you step on a pressure play for me? I hope, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, I hope he's not watching the stream and I'm going to tell him it's hardcore, so watch out. <laughs> it's over here. Okay, so, um, I, I'm hoping, do you, do you see? Hello, I'm over here. Over here. Okay, so over here. It's this way. Okay, we're gonna see if he kills me like this. Yeah, you can you can step on the pressure plate. Ah, oh, no, he can't. <laughs> it's a kill. Well, I mean, you get to look at the world, which is nice. Like I can see his head, and you can also see all the structures we have for the uh, for the for the you know the the beginner version of uh, Ultra Flat Survival. Uh, I think it's beautiful, personally. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it is a kill at A. Everyone gets killed. And, uh, yeah, if you're curious, this is what the map looks like from below. Spoiler alert. Um, we, we designed a bunch of underground structures, which I thought was fun. They're only on the structure version. I think they're a lot more fun than the above ground ones, personally. I mean, look, look at this right here. This, this, is, this is charming. Just right above the void. And then way down below that, we've got whatever this is. I've forgotten about this, honestly. Well, this is cool though, right? Just hanging out down below the world. Oh, isn't this charming? What do we got down here? Bunch of gear. And then going way lower than any of that. Attempt 3 went kind of well. This is secretly a toy map sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow, I guess we'll have to update the map. One moment joining, says... Uh... Oh wait, actually, here's a good question. If someone joins the world now, are they going to be able to play it? Yeah, wait, we might be onto something. Okay, so uh, I have a Deshi as a friend. I'm gonna send him an invite. So if someone joins the world now that we've already pressed the button, they'll spawn up there, right? Um. Okay, so now we just gotta. What is that over there, by the way? Oh, it's just another structure. It looked like a floating spider or something. It still kind of looks like a floating spider. Yeah, so here's the thing. If, if So if Deshi can join... If Deshi is able to join uh, and is able to play survival... Uh, or whoever else. Like, um, I'll invite... If you're a friend of a friend, please do join right now. If Harrison... If, uh... We'll see who we can get on her. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll see what we get. I'll, I'll send out an invite. 
Uh, going well, thank you. Playing some modded Java SMP. Hope yours is going well too. Oh man, I, I, I think it's fun how many people have life brought back into Minecraft for them by mods. I think that's why add-ons are such a clever marketing thing for Bedrock. Need to install previews one moment. I can't access the preview right now. Damn it, it's the preview holding us back. Well, thank you to Haunted Zombie for joining. Okay, so... I, um... Yeah, it's it's good to look around this version of the map. I, I, I don't play it with structures on, personally. Again, it's not it's not like a shame thing if you do. Um, we we built like specifically structures that would break through bedrock at certain layers. It's I think it's fun personally, but as soon as anyone uh, can get in, sometimes life just makes you want to send out for tacos. Wow, Dan Marsh, if you would like to get tacos delivered to your door that are healthy, fresh, and convenient, you should use HelloFresh at the link down below. Did you know it supports the channel at four times the rate that you give them? Is it's literally you create money out of thin air, and by thin air I mean you know, some shareholders marketing budget somewhere. And that money goes to your boy Toy Cap. If you are in the US, please do consider it. The expert preview doesn't support mod player for whatever bizarre reason. That is bizarre. Okay, so we need we need someone who's on the Minecraft preview. I'll try bearded one. I'll try uh Bips, we could get some okay, well actually. Yeah, that might be Actually. Okay, so here is the solution, chat. We're going to test it because no one else can get access to the preview and multiplayer. We've got one person who can. I was amazed by Haunted, Haunted Zombies always, always got the skills for stuff like this. Um, we'll see if maybe, just maybe. Okay, I'll give it 30 seconds. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start a brand new world because if it works for him, we can do it in reverse, right? Start the new world, make it hardcore. Turn on the coordinates, and then also turn on, not cheats, but multiplayer. Multiplayer, friends of friends. Let's go. Okay, and then we'll set it, if, if it doesn't work, we'll set it on a round for someone else to hit the button, and for it to kill them, and that'll be good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately run onto the button. You know, we'll turn on straight. We'll, we'll, actually, you know what, let's do it about. Just to make sure it works still. I'll grab my bonus chest. You know, it's optional. If you want to play without it, you can on this world. And we're going to die. I am now dead. Which means all that gear is actually wasted. <laughs> and now, now if Haunted Zombie joins, uh, we'll be good. Also, um, there's so many stream moderators now. It's nice to have a diluted cat to total mods ratio. Yeah, I'd say um, the, most, the most regular mods are Cat, Dasher, and Chantal. And, uh, you know, we, we happen to have uh, Deshi, who mostly is... Uh, you know, around for toy maps and other fun gravel-related things. Um, oh, so this is this is real trippy, right? Okay, so here's the question. We'll haunt Oh, chat, chat! Is he's in survival! He's in survival! They're both in survival! They can play Minecraft together. I can't, but they can both play Minecraft. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're on to something here now, chat. <laughs> Do you think they can see my floating head? <laughs> also, I love the uh, I love the skin, uh, Deshi. It's one of the uh, the fun things we have as part of this. But um, the sign says warp everyone. Surely everyone will die. So they joined after the warp happened. So they joined after the death warp, which means okay, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'll do this same thing on a realm now. Someone has to bite the hardcore bullet for me if that's okay. <laughs> okay. So now here's what we do. Chat, I have I have worked out a solution. We make a new ultra hard, ultra flat survival world. Make sure coordinates are turned on, of course. Make sure hardcore is turned on. Okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, you could do it in reverse where he hosts the world, dies, then you join, says Harrison. If we did it that way, though, he'd have the world, he'd have to send it to me, and I... There's weird DRM on Minecraft maps, which I don't understand. <laughs> uh, which is... It's risky. I, whereas if we do it on a realm, I own the world still. 
I am going to invite people to the world. Oh, how do I do that? Uh, setting? It's different for realms. Okay, so I've got the realm set up now. I'm going to... Uh, definitely... Wait. I No, so it's not in a realm yet. It'll be in a realm. I have to upload it to the realm. Okay, so Trial by Wind will edit this world. And we'll replace it with an existing world. Replace world. Confirm. Ultra flat survival. You're Again, the cool thing about realms is you can play whatever you want with whoever you want. If you download the map once, you can enjoy it infinite number of times. Okay, so now, ultra flat survival. It's on the realm. And now we just have to make sure that uh, people I want to access the realm can. So, we'll, there's a lot of members right now. Clear members. Sorry, members. We'll just... You, you're all gone. It's meant to be single player for a second. As much as I love you to be here. So if you make it and then leave, you can rejoin after someone else dies. Yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna make the world, set it up as I want, get someone to join, I'll leave, they'll hit the death trigger, they'll die sadly, but it's, you know, <laughs> it's meant to be single player in the end. And then we'll have a hardcore, ultra flat survival world. That's the plan. Let's see if it works. Okay, so now we... I'm going to have to reset the link. Oh, if I reset the link, you'll all see it. Uh, okay, so I don't know how to avoid that, actually. I guess I have to... <laughs> okay, chat, you got to look at my face. Um, okay, there we go. Sorry about that. I, I just... Uh, you, yeah, you can hopefully understand where I'm coming at. And then we have to go find... So I think it was BCDG. We'll invite him. And we'll invite Haunton. And between the two of them... We know that they'll get this done. Okay. So I'm now going to go into it. Go into my realm. I'm going to set it up as I as I want it to be. Grab the things that I want. Toy Cat, you'll still be in the box the next time you open the world since you decide to open it with your account. Is that true? Nah. Right? Oh, it's because I joined the... Oh, no. Right, right, right. I see... Oh, maybe, okay, <laughs> but your position would be saved. Okay, I shouldn't have joined, whoopsie, okay, so I'll, I'll just let him know, disable structures, but then that means I can't get the oak saplings from the bonus chest. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm going to leave, hit the button ASAP after. Okay, so now we're going to see if that is a solution. Chat seems to think it won't be. I think it will still work. But I think I might be wrong for thinking it'll still work. So we'll look at the stories. Timeline. Oh, this is cute. I forgot they have this. This is such a cute little feature. Again, there's only going to be me as a real member of it in the end. But story feed has pictures. People have been up to things on this world. It's lovely. And we're going to join now. And as long... Oh, no, it's true. Okay, wait, they didn't hit it? Why not? What? What? Did nobody step on the pressure plate? <laughs> Sorry, bud. You mean the fresh plate or that button over there? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fresh. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Yep, fresh plate. Okay. So I think it's still gonna work, chat. I think it's gonna work just great. I really do. I have a high level of belief in that fact. That could be very misplaced belief. I know that as much as the next person. But I want you to know that I think it anyway. Let's go back in. I think I'm going to be on the surface right now. I think I'm going to be flying high. Uh, chat problem solves toy cat maps. I think, this, I think the chat has made a mistake there. And I know this is my map, so if I'm wrong, it's embarrassing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong, and so it's embarrassing. <laughs> so interestingly, I could then choose to play on a different... Okay, so I now... I'll enable structures. And then I'll die, but in a different place. Oh, but it doesn't... No, it does work. Are you on the structureless world? If so, I 
think we found a way to do... You killed a spectator somehow. <laughs> oh yeah, I killed all the spectators. Interesting. You killed it unstructured. Okay, so I thought we could work out a way to only... To like split players between the two maps. Because they are effectively two different worlds. Okay, chat. If you want to know a little... One of my favorite Easter eggs. I don't want to spoil anything. But I'm going to spoil it for you right now anyway. My favorite Easter egg about this world is if you happen to know that there are two separate maps, just the two separate sets of coordinates, you might then decide, with no good reason whatsoever, that just for curiosity, you might enjoy going over the edge, right? Because there is a big edge of the void in this world. But if you did decide to do precisely that, if you want to know something fun might happen, you might go out into the void and you might find something fun. I think it's the wrong direction, though. Um... Okay, so we're going to try this again. Um, we're going to try... Make a new world. Okay, so make a world, but don't... I have to make it straight onto the realm. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make a new world straight onto the realm. And then that will fix the problems. So, Cat, can you load a world template directly to realm? Yeah, you can. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, I'm in I'm in survival um spectator right now, by the way. Look at this. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing. It's my favorite bug. <laughs> you can you can you can be in survival mode but also spectator at the same time. <laughs> you can't fly or anything. Okay. I'm gonna set up the world now. Can you join turn off structures and then go on the pressure plate real fast if possible okay so now we I, chat i think we found the way now also spectral survival <laughs> i wonder what you can do of this can you break blocks probably not what what can you do is it just the movement that's survival how do i turn a structures bug uh there's a lever, I think. Is Deshi still in here? There he is, he's got it. Okay, he's just joined the world. He joined as I hit escape. So I he was there. Okay, let's do it. So I'm gonna load a world directly onto the realm. No, 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 that's... I, I don't know how I keep doing that wrong. Okay, so we, we're gonna load a world onto the realm. We're gonna uh, replace world with... Okay, so that's not how you do it. You go to create new world... Then you pick Ultra Flat Survival. Then you press Create on Realm Server. But we'll do it with Hardcore turned on. Okay. Create on Realm Server, though. Yeah, there we go. Ultra Flat Survival. Ultra Flat Survival. Replace World. And then we just don't... No, 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 no. Okay. No, no, no. Let me out. Let me out. And then we close Minecraft before I join. Hopefully... <laughs> So yeah, the Minecraft wants you to join the world by default, but hopefully we set it up in a way where I did not. I don't know how to know for sure though. But I believe this world right here now hasn't been loaded by me, but exists. Yeah, look at that. It's got the... So we're now going to delete these old copies. Delete world. Look at me. I'm staying until my world deletions. Okay. I think... <laughs> I don't know how long it's been now. But I think we might have we might have troubleshooted this one. I think that we've worked out how to play hardcore ultra flat survival against all odds. And they say Java mod installation is complicated. <laughs> I'm actually doing a um something with Java tomorrow for um do you know the the crazy cities that they built in Minecraft? Delete them in settings. Okay, so how do we know if there's people on the RAM? It looks like no one's on there right now. So we're going to make sure unknown player timeline, not useful members, offline, not a member. Okay, it just says they're members. How do I know if they're on? Because it looks, it says zero, but there can't be zero people on it. Also, it says my realm has four out of two people. <laughs> what is going on with you, Minecraft? I hope you're okay. Um, I got an invite. We could join that in the meantime. I right. should we just jump into it? Let's jump into it. Oh. Maybe we can't. Maybe it freezes when you try to load it up. Troubleshooted or troubleshot? I think troubleshooted. It's like 
one mouse, two mice, one computer mouse, two computer mouses. It's like, uh, oh, chat. Yeah, we actually managed to break Minecraft, I think. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I, um, I, oh, wait, did it move? Or did I imagine it moving? Let's, let's put the mouse where the, the bar is. Yeah, so it looks as though someone else is going to have to start the world and then they can upload it to a realm. No, someone's going to have to start the world, kill it, and then send it to me. Stuck in loading. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Why? That's such a weird bug that you can't have other people load up a Minecraft realm if you haven't been on it yourself. Um, okay, so... Yeah, the next best solution, uh, Deshi, if you if you are able, I don't know how easy it is for you to export worlds. Can you load up a flat world survival with structures turned off? Die, like make sure it's on hardcore. Die so that you're in spectator mode, but like floating up there, and then send me a copy of your world. Again, I don't know if it works with the marketplace DRM, but it should because we both own copies. Assuming that you do own a copy. If you do, thank you for the, thank you for the two dollars. Um, or how many dollars it's, it costs in mine coins. Minecraft is doing everything they can prevent you from doing this. It's true. It is very true. Yeah, I think we broke Minecraft. <laughs> I think that's what we succeeded in doing. Okay, so... Maybe maybe what I'll do this time... Is I'll... Just, just in case this works... Ultra Flat Survival... Edit World... We'll replace it with the world that's right here. Uh, okay, so scroll up. And then it ju it shouldn't... Fo oh, no, failed to find a place to upload your world. Maybe check your internet connection. What a passive-aggressive message, Minecraft. Wow. You can't just assume it's my internet connection. What do you, what do you mean by that? What a, what a silly message. <laughs> Stream is one hour, 35 long. At least you know you can take a screenshot with the uh, in-game menu. Yeah, it's useful to know. I'm glad Minecraft is giving me these useful pieces of information. I am very glad they exist. In the meantime, you know what, actually? I went through all this effort just to make this not happen. But uh, if you would like to play some Ultra Plat Survival in Hardcore... <laughs> Wait, here's a funny idea. I'll load up an actual copy of the world, right? Um, so just while we wait for the one from Deshi... I load this up on hardcore, <laughs> and uh, we'll see if people can actually play Ultra Flat Survival. Uh, so I load it. Let's go Ultra Flat Hardcore coordinates on sure. Let's do it. I'm gonna load this world up on the Realm server. Okay, create a Realm server. Ultra Flat Survival. Ultra Flat Survival. Replace world. Hope that it works correctly this time. I'm not gonna exit midway through. Oh, what if you can't exit midway through? Yeah, chat. You can't you can't just create a world straight onto a realm server, I think. Server experiment, live edition. I am beyond confused by bedrock realms. Horned and Zombie's here now. Oh, good to see you, Horned and Zombie. Wait, where's here? I'm looking for you. I'm looking. Oh, there you are. It's the giant green message that says member for 74 months. Wow, six years now. Jesus. Didn't realize you were alive, lol. I see there's some issues happening here. Oof. Yeah, you know, trying to play on a realm might have its downsides. Might just have its downsides. Um, I, uh, yeah, I think, well, you know, it's lovely anyway. I might be wrong, but I think the initial world loading can only be done by operators on realms. Yeah, it makes sense that, it makes sense. Do you have a second account? Oh, yeah, if I just load it up on a second account... It would solve my issues. But yeah, Deshi's got it covered right now. I think. Unless he's he's broken somewhere out there. I assume he's not. He's playing Minecraft, so he should be good. Um, six years is crazy. The whole world was a whole different place back then. I I don't know if I'm falling victim to like some nostalgia version of the world. But I, I am constantly seeing people like at each other's throats about how people you know behave in public. People being like, wow, can't believe people talk when there's music on, or can't believe people put music on when you're meant to be on the train, or, you know, like, all these different things. 
And I've, I've come to the conclusion that human beings just don't like each other very much. Like, I saw someone be like, I think we're over-communicating now because someone was honest of them. They're like, yeah, honestly, I found someone else. They're like, wow, why would you tell me that? Lie to my face. And it's like, oh, yeah, people just actually think lots of different things. It's crazy how different humans go. Oh, we, so we got to the same error message in a much less direct way with a new error message behind it. So that's cool. Sent invite. Oh, so you've got it on... Okay, so... Let's send... Oh, right, I get it. You have to... Oh, Toy Cat Smells is the world name. So now I join Deshi's world. I have to download the pack, but that's fine. If I'm friends with someone in regular Bedrock, do I need to friends them separately on preview? I see zero joinable friends on that. You shouldn't have to. Oh, look, it's got the gravel pack on. So now we can... Ooh, this is odd. This text pack is very odd. So I can play Ultra Flat Survival now, chat. But it has to be hosted here. But now we're gonna get Deshi to send me this world. And because I've joined the world up here in hardcore. Oh no! <laughs> Rip on <and> something. <laughs> now it's just me in the hardcore world, all by myself. I have no trees, no saplings, pure hardcore world, no bonus chest. Is that possible? I genuinely don't know. I'm gonna have to work it out. Chat, what do you reckon? Hardcore world. No bonus chest, and nothing. Oh god, I take three hearts per per slime head. Um, so that makes my survival attempt a lot harder. Might need some rabbit to help me stay alive at this point, honestly. So we'll uh, we'll eat some raw rabbit. Run, lol. <laughs> By the way, this is the gravel texture pack, so it's funny. Uh, I, I reference that's what uh, Deshi does here, and he's uh, got it sorted. So now I'm going to leave this world. Oh, wow, that was weird. Okay, now we leave the world. And then Deshi sends me a copy of that world. And even though he was the host when he made it, I become the host. But I'm the host from above the ground in in hardcore. No issues. Yeah. <laughs> no bonus chest, hardcore and gravel pack. Uh, where are you going to get your start starting supplies? Yeah, I'm not sure that you can. I'm really trying to think it through. Is there a way... So I, can I load up this world myself? I, I kind of like it being there. It's like a little advertisement mixed in with the feed. <laughs> I think he needs to place the sapling before you join. Oh, yeah. Wait, but you can't place the sapling. If he sends you the world, would you not join as him? I think you join as yourself when you are in a world. Remove day counter. But it's day 20. No, he can remove it. It's fine. Okay, day... It just says day now. Hope that's good. Uh, you join as yourself. Yeah, I thought you join as yourself. If you if you don't have a profile in the world, you join as the host. Or you join of the host's inventory. I don't know if you join as them. But um, if you do have a profile, you spawn where that is. So an interesting fact, chat, is if you were to join my Let's Play world, as some people have, when you re-come back into it, you'll be in wherever you were after that. And so that's an interesting fact. Day zero, we Java counting, says uh, Mark Varcher. <laughs> okay, so now Deshi has sent me the world. Okay, chat. Um, I uh, uh, just need access to it. Uh, so he sent me the world. As soon as I have access, I'll be I'll be good to go. Okay, so okay, okay, we're almost there, chat. We've almost worked it out. Royal Exotic says check Discord. Took out. I sent you the world. Oh, that's real kind of you. Where is it? I'm looking at where. I don't know if you sent it to me. You must have sent it to someone else. Hope this works. I hope so too. Okay, it works now. Chat, we're here. We're here. Okay, it's toycat.zip. I'm excited. We we might just have the solution to our problem. I'm, I'm very excited for it. Okay, downloads. So downloads is over here. And then... Ooh, it's la I, I, my, I don't know why my downloads folder is lagging. You ever experienced that, chat? We'll open it. Yep, just mm, downloads isn't, isn't working right now. There we go. Then we'll extract Toy Cat into a folder. Presumably in that folder is just the .mc world. But we'll find out. Might have the gravel pack in there for all I know. Here's Toy Cat. And... Oh, that is the world. So we just renamed toycat.zip to toycat.mc world. Oh, it's interesting. You didn't export it from the game. 
Deshi. Uh, interesting indeed. So we'll just rename it toycat.mcworld then. Pro tip, a uh, .zip file is just an mcworld file in disguise. No, nope, that didn't solve it either. Uh, maybe we'll rename the folder that's toycat as toycat.mcworld. You can't do that either. Uh, maybe we'll zip this. And then we'll... Okay, toycat.mcworld. And we'll, we'll send to the other way around. So you gotta... You turn a... Yeah, I don't understand. What did I do wrong? What? So I've got my... An MC world is a... File is a zip in disguise. So if I... But if you rename a zip file to MC world, it should work in Minecraft, right? So is there an open whip? There is open whip. So open with... Choose another app. Minecraft. Choose an app on your PC. What? Why are you like this? Ugh. Um, I think, uh, yeah, a lot of people have joined my world. Because I used to farm people for maps. It is true. <laughs> it's, it's one of the dumbest things. I might, I'm, it, it might be fun to relive old times, right? It might be fun to relive old times. Okay, I, I'm, I'm lost. Zip, zip. To, how, how do I? Okay, so I'm going to copy this all into an existing. So this is com.mojang. Go to. Uh, okay, we'll go to packages. Microsoft Windows beta. And then uh, go to app date, uh, local state, and then games, com, mojang. It's such a messy folder path to actually find things. Then we find the latest world, which was created at 921. And we replace all of that information with the stuff from this. Okay, replace all these files in the destination. Okay, now, chat. So this world right here will magically change. Yep, okay, okay. Oh, oh, chat. No, why am I in spectator? Why? Why? Uh, also, how am I taking damage? Is it just F1? Can I die again? I can die again. I'm very confused by that concept. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> but I'm now in, I'm in, I'm, I'm in fake. And now Deshi can join, but he's alive. Oh. That's interesting, huh? How are you alive? You died. What happened there then, huh? <laughs> He's replaced again. <laughs> How does this happen? <laughs> How does the preview have the regular panorama? Says Harrison. Oh, it's my uh, it's my preview hider. Although actually, I, it clearly isn't on because you can see it up there. I guess it's the gravel pack, which is doing that. So why is Haunting dead? I'm so confused. How is he dead? But I'm, but I can't fly. Okay, so here's the thinking. We'll up. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll put. I'll put this on a realm. Dashy, huge. Oh, Dash is in here. Wait, is Dasher alive? Dash is alive. <laughs> okay, so there has to be a blood sacrifice, uh, as she says. Okay, so. We're going to try this again. Uh, just copy, repaste, replace that. So all the files are going to get reset back to where they were. And now we're going to put Toy Cat Smells on a RAM. Very, very, <laughs> very complimentary uh, title we've got there. <laughs> um, okay, replace that world. This one up here. And there we go. Now I have to not join this world. It's working, it's uploaded. I have to make sure that Deshi joins this world before me, or it will think I'm Deshi and that I'm dead. I don't understand what's, what that means. So for anyone who's just joined here, chat, I want to play my map Ultra Flat Survival on Hardcore, but the map involves killing you to teleport you up there. And so you can't play on Hardcore unless you were to have someone else be the blood sacrifice and die first. But we tried this, and there's no way to do this while you own the world locally. And we tried on a realm, and as long as I'm the host, it won't work. So we have a world where Deshi is the host, Deshi is dead, he's going to die, and I'm going to join as his guest, then I'm going to take the world back as my own, and I'll be the guest, but it'll be my world, and then I can play hardcore on it, ultra flicker, okay, he's spawned in. Am I going to be... Why? What? <laughs> what sense does this make? Why does he get to live and I have to be dead? I don't understand. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so here would be the fix for that. Um, okay, hear me out. Um, Deshi makes a world. I I join. I join it. And no. He, how does he live and then... The host, it's impossible. It's just impossible. There's no way. Hi, toy cat. I'm in a sheets right now. Remember, the gas station with the two for deal on smokes? I agree. It feels like it should be illegal, I, but every sheets has it. it I feel it is literally illegal shrugging. in most of the parts of the world. It's crazy. I love sheets though. I, I think it's uh, honestly, I love any regional gas station in the US. My favorite area of competition. Oh, look, see, I'm I'm definitely not dead dead. That's what dead dead looks like, chat. When you die in spectator mode. <laughs> it's the dumbest thing that you can die in spectator mode. I've got to say. I've got to just, if I can have one comment on all of this. Um, this is like the fox chicken seeds puzzles. This is my posture. It really is. Okay. What's the solution, chat? Can Deshi edit the kill command and send you it? Yeah. If you make make a world, dies, HZ joins is on the world, you join, you leave, Deshi sends the world over. Yeah, I have to join the world, but I already did join the world. Um, why? If, if we ran it on someone else's realm, that's the only solution I can think of. Why else would I be dead? <laughs> Why would I delete player data? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll delete the player data. Okay. Chat. So we're going to reset the world. As you can see, it looks like this right now. Oh, this is the reset world. We haven't moved this. So we're going to delete the player data for the world. It's in um, DB? Level name? No, if you delete the player data, you'll be reset to square zero, though. You need to, you need to find the... I don't know... So, here's something fun. I can edit the, the world name from out here. So I can call it like... What's, what's, what's something obscene you wouldn't be able to name in Minecraft world? Um, gonna see if that works. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I'm just gonna save that. We're gonna see how this goes, chat. I renamed the world. Oh, no, I didn't. <laughs> okay, so... How... If I load it in a single player world, it also doesn't work, right? We tested that. The default spawn point gets set, so deleting player data might work. Oh, okay, so which one is player data? Uh, Level.dat? No. Is it behavior packs? No. DB? No, oh, what is that? Um, where, do you, where do you delete player data from? Texts? It's got to be in DB somewhere, I'm guessing. Uh, how to delete player data Minecraft Bedrock. Go to website. No, that's not it. Um, delete player from a single player Minecraft map. But on Bedrock. I, I feel like... Nope, it's not here. It's all for Java. Yeah, because there's a whole player data set f folder on Java. Um, okay, exported from the game. By the, oh, thank you, by the way. We'll see if that works better, just in case. Take out smells, the MC world. Um, the, so... Export, yeah, let's, uh, we've got the exported copy of the world, just so we have a second one here now. I'm going to go to downloads, or oh, we'll just open it from the downloads. Okay, so this, this one has been exported by Minecraft. Look how much bigger this world is. I have no, no idea why it's so much bigger. Maybe that saves, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> There's got to be a way to do this chat. There's got to be a way. Then there's a switch asking to reset data. Oh, yeah, you're right. When you export... It says clear player data. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so we we delete this world. We reopen it, and then we export it ourselves. Okay, here's how here's how you delete Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's actually Okay, it's definitely gone. Bring it back. And then we export the world without the player data. Yeah, that's export world as click at smells. Uh, we'll save it as toy cat. Flat. Do not exit the game. I will not. Then we'll delete this world. Just to make sure we don't get it mixed up. And then we'll go to our new world. 
Okay, chat. I deleted the player data, which means like, yes! <laughs> oh no, I'm dead already. Chat, 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 look! I'm playing hardcore, it's legit. We'll check, we'll, we'll have to go somewhere, I'm just pretty sure. Like I'll dig a couple of blocks below the ground or something. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get away from all of those, all those slimes. I'm gonna pick up whatever mob that is. It's a, it's a rabbit foot, wow. I'm just gonna break a couple blocks on the ground. Okay, is this true hardcore? Let's find out. Hardcore mode enabled. And also that is, that is Deshi right there. As you can see, he's gonna die. So, I mean, but you know, outside of that, is this a whole workaround for dying in hardcore then? Oh, yeah, actually, I think it might be. Sorry, by the way. Um, so we'll call this Toy Cat. Toy Cat. Flat Core. Um, so let's test if we accidentally just worked out how to beat. Uh, so save changes. Save changes. Yeah, sure. Um, so now we go to my Mace Core stream series. And I'm going to export this world without my player data. Export world. Yep. Uh, we'll just call it Mace Core. And now when we reload it up. Okay, chat. Do you think I'll be in... I, I think, yeah, you can delete the fact that you've died from a world. I don't think this is a worth using exploit. I, I like the idea of being like a softcore difficulty. Where when you die, you lose all your stuff. You lose all your levels. You lose anything that was attached to you as a player. All of your wolves. All of your... But I'm not going to play it, obviously. But I like the fact that there's... Like, I, 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 I think they should remove it. But in the meantime, I like that it's at least somewhat balanced. In my opinion, the only thing worse than an exploit is an unbalanced exploit. But, uh, yeah, wow, that's fun. So, yeah, we could have done that without all those steps before. <laughs> it's confusing for me. What matters is I can now play Ultra Flat Survival. Ultra Flat Survival Hardcore. Ultra flat survival hardcore. I'll be honest with you, chat. It's now 9.41 p.m. I don't... I think we spent over an hour working out how to do this. But this is my new hardcore series. And I'm looking forward to doing it. But the most important thing are the friends that we make along the way, chat. <laughs> Probably. I hope so, at least. Anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this video that you have watched today, this live stream that you've joined me on. I am going to be starting a brand new series now that I have the ability, um, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I've wanted to do this forever. Doing it on hardcore is going to be so much more intense. Um, but yeah, I it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. Also, um, export it so you have a template in case you die. Yeah, yeah, I've already got the... I've already got that. It's fine. We, we're good. I hope that you've enjoyed today's stream. If you have, if you have any inkling, if, if, if you ever buy food at any point at all, even if you didn't, going to HelloFresh would be a great way to support the stream. But if you have any need for any amount of food, uh, vegetables, fruit, staples, meal plans, I think HelloFresh is great value as it is. I think it's amazing value when it's on discount. And it's even better value when you can support a YouTuber as much as you do. Plus, you get free dessert if you use the link down below. Thank you for watching this video. This video wasn't sponsored by HelloFresh. I literally do just... It's, it's a great way to support the channel <laughs> for the next week. Uh, they have a very big marketing budget. And I hope uh, that you help me in procuring some of that. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to go watch Fallout now. It's going to be good. Goodbye. Sucks about the death in hardcore though, right? Need to need to work on that, huh? <laughs> need to need to not die on my next hardcore.